The K Sam Wake Up Morning Show. Wow. Have you started your Christmas shopping yet? Mm-mm. No. 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 All right. Someone polled twelve thousand Americans and asked them when they normally start buying presents, and close to a quarter of them said not until December first. Not at the very earliest. They don't start until December. Uh, let's see. About sixteen percent said the first half of December is when they'll do their shopping. Seven percent said the second half, which I think is pushing it so that's like 23 percent. another 10 percent say they don't usually buy gifts at all those are scrooges so then does that mean then black friday is really just for people to buy things that are on sale and not have nothing to do with christmas that may be maybe. oh my goodness so the same percentage of americans about 23 percent, start buying in september or earlier that's what my grandma would do you yeah know, and my aunt there's a whole bunch of folks who will shop all year round and just like, like mm-hmm. they'll just find something that they want to get somebody mm-hmm. and they'll just put it up in a closet and just wait yep right yep uh so uh, i'm one of those who waits until the very last minute sometimes. that's what my dad would do <laughs> go to the gas station pick up some slim jims <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> dan and shay climbing into the top 10 after being at the number 11 spot last week they now sit at number eight with that song, Save Me the Trouble, here on 101.7 KSAM. All right, folks, if I asked you what social norms you are sick of, you know, hearing, living, whatever, you'd probably say tipping before I can finish the question. I think that's all of us. I think, one, they should be paid more. All the, the, the waiters and staff and everybody else should be paid more. But the rules are irritating. But for many people, getting tips is a great thing because it helps them live. I know my brother works as a a, a, a waiter whenever he's not, uh, or a server, I should say, whenever he's not in school. So it's a good amount of his living. But people on social media are talking about widely accepted societal norms that are, quote, overrated or harmful. These responses were a little darker, but some people make some good points. Here's a few of them. Number one not valuing changing one's mind. Instead, we admire those who stick to their beliefs and are consistent over long periods of time no matter what they learn or how they evolve as a person. Number two, monetizing and quantifying everything, including hobbies. Basically, not doing anything just because you enjoy it. It's more about finding a way to earn money from stuff or doing it to just post a photo on Instagram. That's why I don't like Instagram. (laughs) Number three, the invasion of people's personal lives. Yes. Number four, the normalization and even celebration of unsafe driving. Please stay safe out there on the on the road, folks, especially right here on what I call Texas Motor Speedway. (laughs) Please stay safe. Number five, hustle culture and bragging about not sleeping, pushing yourself into an unhealthy lifestyle just to try to do more than everyone else. Number six, the expectation of constant availability. I struggle with that. Not as much now, but a lot more beforehand. Number seven, letting kids have cell phones. Several bad social norms involve phones. Some say that it's problematic to get get kids attached to them too soon. I agree. If I ever have children, they're not having a phone for a very, very long time, I will say. Number eight, any type of political view becoming your whole identity. Also, quote, the idea that there's only one right opinion or right one right side to a certain topic or something. One person said, it's dumb to think any modern issue is black and white or is only driven by hateful motives. Nuances need to have its place again. Another person said, people are having an opinion on everything and expecting everyone else to as well. Number nine, the blatant spreading of misinformation, especially by people who know better and are supposed to be trustworthy. And then finally, sprinkles on donuts. One person said they don't add any flavor and just make a gigantic mess and stain your fingers. And this is why I don't eat donuts. <laughs> I'll eat donuts every once in a while, but it's gotta be a rare occasion. Basically, if I'm at a hotel and I'm getting them for free, I'll get myself some chocolate ice donuts. Other than that, I'm a kolache guy, through and through. Give me some kolaches all day, every day. I'd be better off in a pine box by Doug Stone here on 101.7 KSAM. Folks, if you're looking for a festive, we'll call it way, to Crack a cold one, we'll call it. <laughs> Miller Lite has got you covered. They're now selling what's called a beer cracker for the holidays. It opens bottles and cans exclusively. The mouth is a bottle opener, and if you take off the hat, you can slide the brim under the tab on a can of beer. There's photos and videos everywhere online. 
it's hard to miss it. They're also selling their beer ornaments again, their Christmas tree ornaments that double as beer koozies. So if you wanted to hang one on the tree, why not? But they did not bring back the tree keg stands that they sold last year. It's a Christmas tree stand that fits a keg underneath. This new beer cracker hits Miller Lite's merch website today. So it's already out for $30. It's only available through December 1st. So you have two more days to grab it. But they could sell out earlier than that. And of course, you have to be 21 or older to buy it because duh you have to be a legal drinking age in order to use it so be responsible be safe and if this is something that you want to uh i guess ring in the the holiday cheer and and give yourself a little holiday spirit you might want to do it fast george burge in mind on you on ksam good afternoon i'm big glenn edwards your forecast is coming up so we're in the holiday season right and a recent poll found what holiday classic movie is America's favorite to watch every year. So they came up with a top 10 list. We'll start with number 10 and move our way to number one real quick. Here we go. Die Hard. 14% of people say that's their favorite, uh, favorite Christmas movie. Uh, followed up by Miracle on 34th Street at number 9, 21%. Number eight, the original Santa Claus at 44 with Tim Allen. Number seven, It's a Wonderful Life. 24% of people love that. Christmas Vacation, number six with 25%. Elf. At number five with 26%. Rudolph the Resno Ranger, uh, 29%, number four. Charlie Brown Christmas, number three at 32%. And A Christmas Story at 33%. And the number one favorite Christmas movie is Home Alone at 34%. Was your favorite movie on that list? Hark the Herald Angels Sing by George Strait. As we ring in the holiday cheer with a little holiday spirit from the legend himself. Here on 101.7 Key Sam, playing today's best country and all of your favorites. Well, folks, let me ask you something. Did you get snagged or snubbed on a Black Friday deal? Probably on a new TV or some big appliance? Well, here's a question. Would you consider dusting off the old one, wrapping it up, and giving it to someone else as a holiday gift? Apparently... Every year there's talked about, you know, how used gifts are, are trending, and this year is no different. Apparently in a new survey, 82% of people are open to receiving secondhand holiday gifts, which is up an astounding 11% from last year. 76% of people would not have a problem giving a used gift whatsoever. 67% of people say the stigma around giving previously owned gifts, gifts has lessened more due to affordability, but also practicality and sustainability. Some people also want things that are no longer available new. So it's a new product, but it's not available as a new product. I don't know. So what items are people gifting that are secondhand that are used? Electronics, no shock, is the most common, followed by sporting goods and home improvement items. People are also giving secondhand books, media like Blu-rays and vinyl records, toys and games, jewelry, uh, ceramics, ornaments, video games, arts and crafts, bags, and purses. But yet, out of all of that, the one thing you would think would be a used holiday gift that would be handed down generation by generation apparel did not make the list at all. People, people don't want apparel as a as a, a holiday gift. They don't want their brother's hand-me-downs. They don't want their sister's hand-me-downs. They don't want their parents' hand-me-downs. Whatever. <laughs> Free clothes, that's what I think of it as. <laughs> Kelsey Ballerini, if you go down, I'm going down too here on KSAM.